660 bombs for Josh part 10. We're doing more a bomb 8 subsystem work. Let's go down to the data by system section and within this section we have the a bomb 8 top level data section right in this scope right here. And all the way at the bottom, we're going to make some lookup tables for all of these designs that we've created. All these designs, we're going to pack them into a lookup table. So all the way down, oh god, we're not all the way to the bottom. Okay, now we're here. So in this My Fingers Fucking Hurt section, aka lookup tables V16 converted to A81, we've taken all of the geometry designs 0 through 15 and put them in the lookup table V16 converted to an A81, specifically an A81 that has geometry designs. Then all of the bomb designs, 0 through 15 inclusive, have been put into a lookup table V16, converted to A81, specifically an A81 that is holding bomb graphics. And then lastly, we have the FATA designs, 0 through 15 inclusive, in a lookup table V16, which is a tile value, converted to A81. A81 is this A81 is an A81 that encodes FATA types. Okay, so these lookup tables are of uncompressed data, so we need to make three more lookup tables that are the compressed equivalents that will be loaded into our shader code eventually. So right here, we are going to uh, declare them. And the difference with these names is it's V16 to U81 Geom, Bomb, and Fata. So U instead of A, and the U stands for Uint81. And there's no such thing as a Uint81, but in this array, what we're going to have is clusters of three Uint32s, and we're going to use 81 of the 96 bits available to us to encode uh, 9 by 9 graphics in these lookup tables. 9 by 9 pure bitmaps. So that's what we're doing in this video. We'll, we'll do the pre-processing in the next video, but we're setting up the data in this video. So if you want a longer explanation, go here to Ninja Coder. We do not have time here. Like, subscribe, send money in the mail.